Time now, 1101 on this August the 4th, 2014, on a Monday night. Time now for the Waterman Jushu PJ with the late hour report. Monday night, August 4th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our good condition at 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. Got a temperature up. 70 degrees of temperature. Fair skies. Cuba the 89 percent. What's the base? Cobb. Robin and Thor. Report 03 inches. Two point about six hundred degrees. And a visibility of 10 miles. Okay. Let's take a look at the radar scope. And we're zooming in to the Metro West. And it shows some rain showers around Framingham. And it's put to need it. Along the Mass Pike and Route 9. And and another and and another man that shows around Lincoln, Cocker Detected, and Van Wilton and switched it out of Bill, leans around Seven Bill Wicker. And those shows are going to make its way to the Great Boston area at about 30 45 minutes from now. Here, and we're zooming in on, and it shows spotty rain shots of the Jersey coastline. Spotty rain shots in North Central Vermont, and a curve lane of shots of source of Northeast Remain, stretching out in New Brunswick, down to North Central. Nova Scotia, and search in eastern and north central and southwestern parts of Quebec and northeastern Ontario. And spotty rain showers are in northeastern and north central and northwestern parts of Michigan and northeastern Wisconsin. And a curve of line of showers and storms from southeastern Iowa down to northwest central and northern northeastern parts of Illinois down to southwest Michigan here. Okay, let's move it on to the Chicago radar here. And it shows some. And it shows some yellows and orange, which has been to showers and some uh, line of cell showers and storms around Wilbur, Kadurian, and around Cicero, West Selden, and Chicago, Lawn, and Burbank, in Illinois, and around Oak Park, around Edison, and around Bloomingdale. All right, some spotty rain showers around the Chicago area. Here, so Chicago's going to have to contend with some rain showers while well, sleep at night. Here, okay, spotty rain showers and East Central portion of Texas down in North West Louisiana and a line of showers and storms from West Central Mexico stretching up in New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, stretching Nevada, Northeast of California and Southern Oregon down for Idaho, down for Wyoming and Mountain and down for West of South Dakota, down for Nebraska, and then stretching it on the Southeast of British Columbia and Southern Alberta down for Saskatchewan here. Okay, we got Mormon Lake, Arizona. Good! Evening 79 degrees with with overcast guys here. Okay, Saturday little beer and it shows a lot of clouds from covered a cloud shield from up the Atlantic coastline stretching it down from Florida and covered a bunch of Florida and a batch of clouds from Northern Bay stretching up into New Brunswick and up into Quebec. Now a lot of clouds from Michigan stretching down from the Great Lakes and down from Wisconsin and down from Illinois stretching east to Iowa. A lot of clouds from West Mexico stretching it up into the Rockies and went down for West Plains, so stretching it up, stretching it down for Idaho, Oregon, North Nevada, North and Northern California, and stretching it southeast of British Columbia, Alberta, and down for Saskatchewan, Nevada, and Tobin, and a lot of clouds from Western British Columbia, and stretching it down off the Pacific coastline here, and a lot of clouds from Northern Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. Okay, right, let's take a look at the map situation here. Station front from Alberta, stretching in Manitoba, and Southern Saskatchewan. Cold front, station front from Montana, down from Wyoming, and down from Nebraska, and down to Kansas. And station front from South Dakota, stretching in Iowa, down from Wisconsin, down from Michigan, and down from Southern Ontario, down from Southwest of Quebec. And a warm front down from Kansas, and Omaha, and a station front from Florida, stretching all the way up, up the Huggins and Carolina coast, and up, up the Nova Scotia coastline. And that's the same front that brought that revered tornado last week. And for the mine from East Central Texas and switching out of Southern Louisiana and from Mississippi and out of Southern Alabama. For the mine from Eastern Colorado and Northeastern New Mexico. For the mine from Central Oregon and North Central California. For the mine from Southeastern California and from Gulf of California here. Yeah. And for the mine from Southeastern Texas and off the Mexico. High pressure in Ontario, in Ohio Valley, and Western Nevada and Northeastern Idaho. And we got low pressure in North Central Utah, Northeastern Colorado, Southeastern California, and Gulf of California, and not Central Florida, and Northeastern Kansas, and Northeastern Colorado. 77 degrees at temperature in Boston and New York City, 79 in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., 72 in Pittsburgh, 75 out in Denver, 69 in Chicago, 77 in Minneapolis, it's 79 in Omaha, Nebraska, it's 84 in Kansas City, Atlanta, Georgia, and Brownsville, Texas, 76 in Miami, 89 in Dallas, Texas, 78 in Brownsville, it's 85 in 
Denver, 99 and out in. Phoenix, A in Las Vegas and Salt Lake City, Utah, 74 in Great Falls, Montana, 90 and out in Seattle, 72 in San Francisco, we got 71 and out in Los Angeles, here. Current conditions, man, we've got 76 degrees of temperature in Boston and Fitchburg, 71 in Bedford and Gloucester, 69 in Beverly, 70 in Hayville, 70 in Worcester, 72 in Surbridge, 71 in Webster, 65 out in Milford, 71 in Norwood, 71 in Taunton, 70 in New Bedford, it's 72 in, in Plymouth, 70 in Falmouth, 70 in Parmesan, 71 in Chatham, 70 in Cape Cod 60 in Marfield, 67 in Nantucket, 70 in Block Island at Smithfield, it's 72 in Wesley, 70 in Springfield, 71 in Amherst and Greenfield. 66 in Pittsfield, 65 in Northam, 71 in Albany, 65 in Bennington, 63 in Brattleboro, 68 in King, 65 out in Jeffrey, 68 in Concord, 69 in Manchester, Hampshire, 73 in National Hampshire, 66 in Potsdam, Hampshire. It's safe for Winds Locks in Hartford, it's 69 in Meriden, 70 in Waterbury, 71 in Danbury, 76 in New Haven, 75 in Bridgeport, 73 in Lawrence, 72 in Montauk, and in this one, 74 in New York City, here. Yeah? Alright, let's take a look at our. Public discussion here. Perfect spectrum remaining offshore and monsoon showers expected in Great Basin in Northern California. Hurricane Perfect just a spectrum remaining off the east coast and low along the front just off the south east coast of forecast awaken and move out to sea by Tuesday evening bringing a record to dry. Your river return conditions to the southeast United States by midweek and showers early this week is the eastern Carolinas and by midweek and scattered numerous showers occur each afternoon over the peninsula of Florida and along the weekend front near the Gulf Coast. A further body we have the Dorford Rockies across the central plains at the Mississippi Valley, Ohio Valley, and the northeast is expected to be the focus of the scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms for the middle of this week, which will be extended to the Great Lakes and the nearby. Poor shit, the Dorford Plains high pressure should remain dry conditions across the upper Mississippi Valley. Presence of solar moisture in the Great Basin of Northern California is expected to combine with an upper level low to bring an immense chance of showers and thunderstorms in the middle of the week as well. This shows to be a big repeat to the drought conditions of much of the region and scattered derivative showers and storms should form into the central markets as well. And let's take a look at our forecast succession around the country, around New England there. Near just below normal temperatures are expected this week, and while most of the time it will be dry, a few winds are scattered shots and isolated tennis was expected with the most widespread activity in Wednesday. High pressure builds over the region of this week, and meanwhile, Hurricane Bear is expected to pass about 300 miles southeast of Nantuck on Tuesday night. This will be a little impact on the region other than potential for high surface dangerous rip currents. Near term until 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, 1030 minimum update. Moderate, confident forecast, a combination of high points on. With light winds in the northern crossover, the thresholds were low. Temperatures will fall lower than the observed dew point and maximum heat in the day. We suggest widespread fog across much of the trend, keeping that fog over the waters adjacent to South Shore Lines and including Cape Ann and Prep expects a similar width that H975 or H command near the aforementioned areas. One difference is the fog across fog trend of the Monday morning dense fog due to the fact that there is no added in rain and conditions today will allow to dry out the temperatures were considerably warmer with regard size, especially along the shore lines. Have turned in with the HRRR to regard to the fog and gone ahead with a special weather statement for these areas covered in and along the scene fog south and southeast of the lines and New England along with AJ sounds. As well as Kevin and better to be proactive and give a heads up to the potential, especially as it may have impacts in the morning commute, and along with it, the potential upgrade for the dense fog advisory. Low expect low overnight lows will be ranged around 60 across southwest New Hampshire, northwest Massachusetts, mid upper 60s along the south coast. And so let's take a look at what is going on with perfect here. Of an advisory here, just off the presses here. Still a category one turkey near with a wind speed 75 miles per hour. We not not by 20 miles. Gonna weaken to a storm from now between now and 8 p.m. on Tuesday. And it's gonna make its northeast turn up to New England coast on the net to see skirting the southeastern. Prince Edward Island close on Stradish and at far to sea east as far as Ireland. So, so could Ireland and the British Isles could see some Bertha's effects? We'll find out. As here is the latest at 11 o'clock. Advisory from Bertha hot off the presses there. Bertha expected waking on Tuesday as location 31 for 3 in the north. 73.1 in the west and about 490 miles, 790 kilometers west of the Bermuda and Mexico, same wind, 75 miles per 120 kilometers an hour. And present movement, north northeast, about 15 degrees to 20 miles per 31 kilometers an hour. Minimum temperature pressure, 
1,001 millibars of 29.56 inches. There are no closer watches or warnings in effect. At 11 o'clock, 300 UTC, the center of Hurricane Burford was located near 32.31.3 to the north. Launched at 73.1 in the west, and Burford is moving toward the north northeast near 20 miles per hour, 31 kilometers an hour. A turn toward the northeast will increase in forward speed expected over the next day or so. So, for cast wrap, Burford will pass about midday between the U.S. East Coast and Bermuda on Tuesday. And maximum same winds near 75 miles, 120 kilometers of weather. Gusts of small air northeast at a center of gradual weakness forecast during the next four hours. And hurricane force winds extend out to 25 miles per 35 kilometers from the center. Top zone winds extend out to 125 miles, 25 kilometers per hour minutes east of the center. Thanks for minimum sun pressure, 1,001 millibars, 29.56 inches here. And Eastern Pacific, we have a double barrel action. Okay, Hurricane and Zell, Category 4 Storm here. 16.0 to the north, 130.0 to the west, maximum sustained winds, 135 miles per hour, movement west about 8 miles per hour. As the latest on Hurricane and Zell. Power for Hurricane and Zell, slow sand, expected to move faster toward the Hawaiian Islands on Tuesday and Wednesday. Location, 16.0 to the north, 130.0 to the west, and about 11.50 miles, 18.55 kilometers east of Halal, Hawaii. Maximum sustain winds 135 miles per 215 kilometers an hour. Present movement west of 265 degrees at 8 miles per 13 kilometers and high. Minimum central pressure 951 millibars at 20.9 inches, and there are no close watch to warn effect. Interest to the right and island should monitor the progress on the island. Sail as watches may be required for portions of the island on Tuesday and at 8 p.m. past every daylight time at 300 UTC. This set of hurricane is L what's located near latitude 6 below to the north, 130 below to the west. Longitude is L's moving toward the west near 8 miles per hour, 13 kilometers an hour. This general motion is expected to be continued tonight. Is L should turn toward the west northwest of the faster forward speed on the Tuesday and Wednesday. Maximum sustained winds near 140 miles per hour, 220 kilometers an hour. With higher gusts, is L's a Calgary 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Weekend is forecast during the next four hours, and but is L expected to remain a hurricane during that time. Hurricane force winds extend out to 35 miles, 55 kilometers from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend out to 105 miles, 165 kilometers an hour. That's been minimum central pressures, 951 millibars, 20.9 inches here. And we're seeing a disturbance number one, a weak area of low pressure located 700 miles south south of the Gulf of T1 Tepec is producing just nine showers and thunderstorms. Our beloved winds are expected to remain strong with the system during the next several days and development in any should be slow to occur while the low moves west about 10 miles per formation chance for wear low 10% and formation chance for 5 days low 10% here. And our Central Pacific Hurricane Center outlook here. The National Hurricane Center in Miami for the decision of virus on Hurricane Zell about 1175 miles east southeast of Hilo, Hawaii and Zell is expected to cross 140 West in the Central Pacific Hurricane Center area for responsibility on Tuesday morning. And Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu. Hawaii's issue advisor in tropical depression generally located about 1,000 miles south southwest of Lilu, Hawaii. Elsewhere, no tropical cycles are expected for Wednesday afternoon. And let's take a look at the latest on. How long, gear? Once a Category 5 Super Typhoon, and now it is a Category 2 Typhoon here with wind gusts up to 105 miles per gust and up to 125 miles per gust, making its way quickly to the northeast and passing east of the Okinawa Islands by about between Wednesday night and Thursday morning here, and it is gonna make flat in the script past. Southeast of Japan around Friday, bringing some heavy rains and some wind to Nagasaki and Kumado, and then it's gonna make landfall a tropical storm in Matsushima, Japan, and Southeast of Japan. So, those in Southeast of Japan, be ready for what this storm prepares, okay? Alright, tomorrow's high is, is gonna be 80 for Matsushima, uh, low in 75 degree temperature in Nantucket, so 70s on the coast, 80s in Matsushima, 79 Portsmouth, so the, the tom Tomorrow's temperature range, we're going to see 75 to 87 degrees. And that's the chance of the thunderstorms for the week will be on Wednesday afternoon and evening here. So it is between the 1 p.m. and the 4 p.m. time frame that we will see the best chance of showers and the thunderstorms there. All right.
right? Let's view the future cast radar here. And, uh, and few spotty shots around Gregor, but it will be clear for the Ordinos and some spotty rain shots off the coastline. And then, 11 o'clock, the showers are going to be bubbled over by about noontime around East New York, Western Massachusetts, up in the northern Vermont, up in the northern New Hampshire, and up in the northwestern Maine. And then, 1 o'clock, the showers will become more numerous as it will be at the best chance for the showers and storms will be north and west of Boston and western Massachusetts up in upstate New York and Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Here, but otherwise, the south side is good. South east of Massachusetts will be dry for most of the period. And let's take a look at a little weather notes here on this. Monday night. Hurricane Bertha will pass south of the New England about 300 miles south of the Nantucket. Some rough season, rip currents Tuesday and Wednesday. Aslan thunderstorm over the northern New England. And have around showers and storms on Wednesday. Best chance 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And smooth sailing the rest of the day. Few spots of rain, but no big deal. High 76.85 today. And tonight's lows will be 57 to 67 degrees. All right. Let's take a look at a view from the outside, dear. And it shows a human not on tap. All right. Let's take a look at our hazardous weather outlook before we move it on to the seven day forecast here. And it shows. I think it's so moving shots. Then so may produce locally heavy down for the cause urban and port range for the end day two for seven, Tuesday for Sunday. A few strong spirits then some not possible on Wednesday with heavy rain and mail the biggest concern here. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this. For over nine hours, most of the cost got sixty three degrees light southwest wind. For Tuesday, patch about before eight M was. Put the sense got down eighty five degrees and calm wind becoming set for about six miles by the afternoon. Tuesday night. Patchwork after 4 a.m. was most of the class got low 65 degrees and south wind about 5 miles come and common in the evening. Wednesday, church and shots of thunderstorms may up to 10 a.m. and patch about before 8 a.m. was most of the class got high near 80 degrees and northwest wind about 6 miles power. Chance of preservation is 50% and new rain five miles between the tenths of quarter and inches of seven miles possible in thunderstorms. With that, chance of shots of thunderstorms may before 10 p.m. most of the class got low 61 degrees and common in the northwest about 5 miles by the after midnight. Chance of is 40% and Thursday, chance of showers of thunderstorms mainly after 2 p.m. Most of the sand sky near 38 degrees and chance of precipitation 30%. For that, patch about after 4 a.m. was but the sky sky alone 59 degrees for Friday. Chance of showers of thunderstorms patch about before 8 a.m. was most of the sand sky near 38 degrees and chance of precipitation 30%. Friday night, patch about sky alone 59 degrees. Saturday, sand sky near 39 degrees. Saturday night, most of the sky alone 61 degrees. On Sunday, sand sky near 82 degrees. On Saturday night. Most of got alone 62 degrees for Monday. Most of the got in there 83 degrees. Pete, there's weather phase of the night. A human nut on top of the night. And a little sticky on top for tomorrow. And Wednesday's weather is going to be rough. A few showers of storms fall, so some of the strong side. Peter, Channel News Time is now 11 9 turn there. And it is time now for a little travel report on this late Monday night. And smooth sail the highways, byways in New England there. Okay, it's time now for Peter Channel News, the late night report on this Monday night. And freshen up the news, Google News, and our top story for today is Ebola drug made from tobacco plant saves USA workers here in New York City. As the United States has announced plans to send at least 50 public health experts to the West Africa to help fight the worst ever outbreak of Ebola. A senior U.S. health official said that the outbreak was out of control, but in a sense that it could be yet stopped. Ebola has claimed some 20 lives in Guinea, Libya, and Sierra Leone this year. The current mortality rate is about 55% of the American. Israel and Hamas have agreed to a 72 hour ceasefire in Gaza starting Tuesday as the Israeli forces were winding down the month long campaign in the Palestinian territory. In Washington, James Brady devoted the entire second half of his life to the fight for gun control. He died Monday at 
73, having achieved stunning success as well, absorbing a winch and set back as a formidable advocate of the part of American life. The stock market stage late day rally Monday helping push the Dow Jones and Dust Average and other US indexes higher for the first time in a week. You would think that it could get worse than finding your name in hit list, but that now that Molly has fell, Molly got a glimpse at the benefactor's dead pulp she had to stretch even more and sell on information. In Shanghai, China's increased military activity has rattled neighbors and sparked concern in the U.S., but its, mo its mobilization in recent years has been focused on combating natural disasters. President Michael Lee Higgins and his wife Sabina are walked by Kim Philippe of Belgium and Queen Mathilde of Belgium as they were at Abbey of St. Louis attend the commemoration of the 100th anniversary. The Mosinam, about 50 kilometers northwest of Mosul, and a major supply of electricity and water. In Donetsk, Ukraine, Oleg Mamiyev, a Russian citizen of Nanabud, and Lindsay have descended to a quick flight of stairs in the basement on a rebel base here and unlocked the chain link trapped to a straw prisoner as a wooden voluntary for Ukraine languages in rebel cell. Toledo's drinking water was once again safe. Mayor Michael Collins announced he took a sip from the glass of money in morning news class, but decided to say the harmful algae blooms at the heart of the water crest as I like to persist. Careful husband and wife died four hours apart after six two years marriage as this July 2014 photo provided by their granddaughter. Mills of Stone Don Simpson 90 and his wife Maxine have shared time to give her Sloan Tom in Berkeley, California. In Phoenix, Arizona medical researcher arrested after taking a load of salt rifle into the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport said Monday that he was making political statement and did not intend to harm anyone. Ted Fido P. Wafer was charged with second-degree murder in the children of Renisha McBride 90 took to 10 on Monday. Judy Ayers to represent herself as judge ruled today that Ayers can represent herself in the coming penalty phase of her murder trial. Focus on GM Unit U.S. Start civil inquiry of subprime car lending. Connect close to acquiring full ownership of cars.com sources. In Seoul, South Korea, Exomine has overtaken Samsung Electronics Company to become the biggest smartphone maker in China. American research firm from Canada said Tuesday that Exomine sold 15 million smartphones in China during the second quarter. Google's come under fire several times for the Prosecutor for two of allegedly infringing upon the privacy customers, but when it comes to those, infringement results of arrest of federal file and sex offender. Average kept saline prices in Illinois have raised in 3.4% to 3.4 cents a gallon in the past week, average of $3.57 cents a gallon on Monday, according to Gas Buddies David survey of 4,378 cash outlets in Illinois. Glenn Close has shared screen time with a helmet and Martians, a whole mess of Dalmatians, one doom bunny rabbit, so a talking rap coon, and a tree I had that much of a stretch in terms of it. Close was a iconic actress. John Ford has written a letter published by the Hollywood Reporter on Monday, in which he strongly criticized Javier Berdine, Penelope Cruz, and officers who signed a missive against Israel's actions in Gaza. How does went on a five year CS when it comes to casting more Hispanic actors and actors made major films with news that he found? The pop country star Taylor Swift gives a private pause that we are never ever getting back together for a board with cancer Boston should not possible and plays with him. Common scientists bring a capture to be for and after filtering about a hell space telescope is back to the past close to Mars on October the 19th. Volcano eruption. The picture shows the third largest volcano eruption. Predicted to stand outside Mount Sinai Medical Center Monday where man symptoms consists with Ebola virus being tested with disease. And unfortunately, then during Monday, and then the second case, Ebola in Africa's most populous country, the woman stepped back with a total death toll from the disease in several Western African countries, shot up to more than 150 to 87. Alright, let's take a look at the New England. Incident alerts here. In the New Hampshire, a vehicle pursuits on 93 northbound spot screen set up at the Hooks of Toll Plaza. Speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. And now a vehicle not stopped in Manchester. And Riverdale, Massachusetts, a more vehicle accident intersection of Sergoni Street and Square Road, EMS Rabbit, and two more than MBGH, and all parties are alert and conscious. And New Bedford, Massachusetts, Chuck and Island World and Felton Street, motor vehicle accidents with injuries. And Elizabeth, New Jersey, 4th Alarm at 442 Marshall Street. Friday, two and a half story, call out Fred and Charlie, we said, off the side porches, separate from the house, high fires, knocked down, defensive, up, yes, continuing. And the Pizza Channel News Time, 11.25, 10 and a half, a sports round up here. Results have the night off. Tomorrow, they will begin a three game series against the St. Louis Cardinals at 
Bush Stadium in St. Louis, the rematch of last year's World Series in which the Red Sox took six games. This year is a real upset as the Red Sox are in the American League East Cellar. Ruby Dell was around for the Red Sox while Lance Lynn ran for the Cardinals. Other squads were in majors 7 7 in the rain delay in Chicago as check the Chicago radar was raining. Chicago White Sox lead the Texas Rangers 5 to 3, top of the 7 in the rain delay. Bottom fourth out in Oakland, Oakland A's and Tampa Bay Rays 1 1 apiece. Bottom fourth in the battle of the freeway series, Los Angeles Angels lead the Los Angeles Dodgers 4 to nothing. San Francisco Giants nip the New York Mets 4 to 3. In the Beltway series, Baltimore Orioles lead the defeat the Washington Nationals 7 to 3. And in the Buckeye State Battle, Cincinnati Reds, Cleveland Indians over the Cincinnati Reds 7 to 1. And New York Yankees edge out the Detroit Tigers 2 to 1. And let's take a look. Down on the thumb in Pawtucket there. And the uh, Paw Sox plate, the Columbus Blue Columbus Clippers 5 to nothing here. And let's take a look at the WNBA action here. And in the WNBA action. Nope. Nothing happened in the WNBA tonight. And let's move it on to sports news as facing certain tests against the Detroit Tigers and Yankees are part one. And yet a person with knowledge of the details says the U.S. men's national team has cut John Wall, Bradley Beal, and Paul Millsap leaving the roster 16 players. Many of the centers and Andy Dalton cut are based on having them postseason success. Load in the post to Facebook with cut tech as a doctor for a playoff win. Many of the centers and Andy Dalton cut are based on having postseason. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, longtime Green Bay Packers fan, and Executive Bob Arnold can count on one end of the Kimsey Watch since joining organization in day one. How Bob Arnold pitched Packers meeting to Brett Favre. San Francisco Giants manager Matt Cain went and go season and surgery on his elbow the team announced on Monday. Cubs general manager Chad Royce said after the trade deadline Thursday the newly created wrestler opens would have no bearing on the timeline for the promotions of top prospects such as Happy Bears. And Louisville Tiger Woods latest energy does not board well right now for his chance playing the Ryder Cup. Jenny Menzel takes snapshots of the starters on Monday at Cleveland Browns training camp has caused quite a commotion with the fans. New York Giants running back David Wilson will be with practice on the team's season end and injured reserve list. Fox Sports went back full. Garfo reports the NFL Insider. And the Patriots and Redskins held some practice sessions at the Redskins training camp in Richmond, Virginia, and they'll pass, and the Redskins will play Thursday out in Landover, Maryland. It was a total day for the towns at Roger Cup on Monday with Flavia Panetta, Star Arani, and Rob Bredovinci all losing the trio. All went to the top 25 on the BTA who did not manage to set between them with results. They played out a big divide. Mass shoot Tenaka reports no discomfort after a playing catch. Long Pond, Pennsylvania, Dale Earn hard put a handy twist on his victory lane party after he pepped champagne with tests of beard snap selfies. Earn not really treated appropriate tool for a bash of his big one. The Washington Nationals host of Baltimore was on Monday makeup game for the rain out back on July 8th. That game was watched away after a two hour hour delayed pump to both teams to convene the previous schedule off day. Derek Wills looks on the party in the United States basketball team scrimmage on August 1st, 2014, in South Max in Las Vegas for the NBA to have in Vegas. In that ground, the Cleveland Bunch fans were tracked directly for the team's first swim and saw Jen Menzel run and they saw Brian Hoyer for her. But they didn't see any. Touchdown from the first and second team offense. The air is thicker in England and the temperature a bit warmer than last long time. Premier League Marvels Monday, Manchester. United and Liverpool show Federal Home Sun Life Stadium in Miami Monday night for the final Guinness International Championship Cup final. The ATP World Tour canceled an inaugural Israel Open Tennis Tournament that was played the next month of Tel because the screw concerns rise in the military covered in the region. Let everyweight Jimmy and John Jones in charge of Daniel Cormier. Went face face with a photo opportunity during UFC 170 media day in Las Vegas, but things quickly turned sound of the two broad. And Michigan State Spartan coach Timmons will announced to move Monday saying Kerensky cannot live up to application by both opportunities. And that is going to be it for the Water Mitchell PHL News and Sports Man Late Now with us August 4th, 2000. Previously, have a good night with a good positive. See you tomorrow morning. Good night.